Hi friend, welcome to my channel Math Epidemic. In this class, we we'll discuss some important MCQ type question and answer from the chapter series and sequence of real number. Now, go to the question. The question is let 0 less a1 less b1 for a n greater than 1 we define a n plus 1 equal to root a n b n and b n plus 1 equal to a n plus b n by 2 then which of the following is not true this is not true option a both a and b n sequence a and sequence b n are convergent but limit does not equal option b both a and b n are are sorry are convergent and the limit are equal option c sequence b n is decreasing and option D sequence A is increasing. Now the question is here here 0 less A1 less B1. So we can write root B1 greater than root A1 imply root b1 minus root a1 greater than 0 that is root b1 minus a1 the whole square greater than 0 imply b1 plus a1 minus 2 root over a1 b1 greater than 0 imply a1 plus b1 by 2 greater than root a1 b1 now from this relation and from this relation by putting a equal to 1 we get a2 equal to root over a1 b1 and b2 equal to a1 plus b1 by 2 that is b2 greater than a2. Now when a1 less than b1 then a2 less than b2. from this relation a2 equal to root over a1 b1 and a1 less than b1. So we must have a2 a1 is less than b1 and the product of a1 b1 the square root of the product of a1 b1 must be must be a2 here a2 a2 is greater than a1 Correct. And from the second relation, B2 equal A1 plus B1 by 2. And here also A1 less than B1. So, since A1 less than B1, so from this relation, we say that B2 must less than b1 okay because this is smaller than b1 and b2 is the arithmetic mean of a1 and b1 so b2 is less than b1 now we get four relation here this 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 okay and combining these four relation we can write a1 
less than a two less than less than b two less than b one. Now, if we proceed in similar manner, we get a one less than a two less than a n less than less than b n less than b two less than b one. Correct. So here b one. So we get. Here a sequence a n is monotonic in prism. A one less than a two less than a n, and this is bounded above by b one. Okay, so monotonic in prism bounded above. So it converges. Similarly. We get sequence B n. Sequence B n. This is monotonic decreasing and bounded below by a one. So monotonic decreasing bounded below by b one. So it is will also be converging. Correct. So here the option. Here the option both A and B N are convergent. Now limit are equal or not equal. But this this two option is wrong. This is monotonic increasing, but here it is given that the monotonic decreasing and it is decreasing. They are given increasing. So this and this may be correct. Now, if we take limit a n tends to infinity a n equal to l, and limit a n tends to infinity b n equal to l dash, then from this relation by taking limit both side, we get. Limit n tends to infinity a n plus one equal to limit n tends to infinity a n b n implies l equal to root over l into l s. So root l equal to root l s implies l equal to l s, and this can be. This can be get from this relation also. Here, l less equal to l plus l less by two, and from that l equal to l s. So the option this is correct because the limit are equal. The sum of the series summation a equal to one to infinity tan inverse two by n square is. Pi by four, pi by two, three pi by four, and pi. Now, the answer. Here, tan inverse two by n square can be written as tan inverse n plus one minus n minus one by one plus n plus one into n minus one. Correct. Here n n cancel two, and here one plus n square minus one. That is n square equal to tan inverse n plus one minus tan inverse n minus one. Now, if we get sum n equal to one to infinity. They are also be n equal to one to infinity. Then expand this term. N equal to one. Tan inverse two minus tan inverse zero. 
plus tan inverse 3 minus tan inverse 1 plus tan inverse 4 minus tan inverse 2 plus tan inverse 5 minus tan inverse 3 and so on. Yeah, tan inverse 2, tan inverse 2 cancel. Tan inverse 3, tan inverse 3 cancel. Tan inverse 4, tan inverse 5, tan inverse 1 are also be cancelled. So, sorry, tan inverse 0, this is equal to 0. And here only two term left. One is tan inverse 1. And another, another is this type of term. That is the largest n. So after cancellation, we write that tan inverse infinity, the last term minus tan inverse one. Okay. So tan inverse infinity. This is pi by two minus tan inverse 1, this is pi by 4. So, pi by 4 is the correct option. So, the correct option is let f maps up to r set of real number to set of real number be a strictly increasing continuous function. If sequence n is a sequence in 0, 1, then the sequence f of n is increasing, bounded, convergent, not necessarily bounded. To solve this type of problem, we consider fx as x cube. Okay? This is this is strictly increasing sequence of real number at to r. Also, we consider a n, this sequence is in 0, 1. So, a n equal to 1 by a n or 1 by 2 to the power n, etc. Now, we say that f of a n equal to 1 by a n cube and we see that this sequence must be decreasing. Decreasing. If n increases, then 1 by n cube decreases. Also, this sequence is also in 0, 1. Okay? This is equal to 1 and 0. So, it is bounded and decreasing. So option B is correct, bounded. And since it is bounded and decreasing, so it converts to its lower bound. Converts, sorry, converts to its infima. That is zero. So it is also convergent and converts to its infima. So this also be correct. Okay? Two options be correct. B and C. Which one is correct? For the series, summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n, 2n factorial by n to the power 2n. The first option, the series is convergent conditionally but not absolutely. The series convergent absolutely. The series, sorry, the sequence, sequence of, sequence of partial sum is bounded but not convergent. And the sequence of partial sum of the series is unbounded. Clearly, this series is an alternative series. Alternating series. Okay. Now, here we consider un. Un equal to 2n factorial by n to the power n. Now, 
un plus 1 equal to 2n plus 2 factorial by n plus 1 to the power 2n plus 2. So, un plus 1 by un equal to 2n plus 2 factorial by n plus 1 to the power 2n plus 2 into n to the power 2n by 2n factorial. And this is equal to 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 by n plus 1 whole square into n plus 1 n plus 1 by n to the power 2 right and this is 2 plus 2 by n into 2 plus 1 by n by 1 plus 1 by n whole square into 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power n whole square tends to 2 into 2 by 1 into e square that is equal to 4 by e square so clearly this series is absolutely perfect ok so the option B is correct the sequence cos half tan inverse minus n by 2 to the power n is monotonic and convergent, monotonic but not convergent, convergent but not monotonic, neither monotonic nor convergent. Here the sequence xn equal to general term of the sequence cos half tan inverse minus n by 2 to the power n okay that is cos of half tan inverse minus 1 to the power n into n by 2 to the power n here n by 2 to the power n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity so, minus 1 to the power n into n by 2 to the power infinity is oscillatory sequence, oscillate infinitely, oscillate infinitely, that is tan inverse tan inverse this is oscillate finitely between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 that is this total this half into this is oscillate minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 correct but we know that cos plus minus theta equal to cos theta. So, cos plus minus pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2. Correct. And this sequence must be, this sequence must be monotonic decreasing because cos theta is decrease in 0 to pi by 4 correct so this sequence is monotonic decreasing and it converts to its infimum value which is this 1 by root 2 so this is this is convergent sequence, also monotonic sequence and converts to 1 by 2. So the option A is correct. Okay.
थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो ओके